a random variable x has the following distribution. x belongs to a binomial distribution 150, n 150, and the probability of success is 0 0.45. Use a normal approximation to estimate the probability that x is bigger than 65 but not equal to it, and less than or equal to 80. So if x is binomially distributed mp, then x can be approximated by x belonging to the normal distribution where the mean of the normal distribution is np, n times p, which is the mean of the binomial, and the variance is np times 1 minus uh, p. In some books that's written as mpq, q being the probability of not succeeding. Note, n is normally is large and p is close to 0 0.5. So x is binomially distributed 150, 0 0.45. So setting up the parameters of the normal distribution, x will be 150 times 0 0.45, n times p, and the variance will be 150 times 0 0.45 times 1 minus p, which is 0 0.55, 1 minus 0 0.45. So x will be uh, normally distributed 67.5, now, you're strongly recommended to write the variance as the square root of 37.125 squared. Now, the reason for doing that is you're going to have to standardise using the normal variable, so you'll need the standard deviation, not the variance. So, the probability that x is bigger than 65 and less than or equal to 8. So, the continuity correction for that one is going to be 60. 5.5 because we don't want to include uh, anything lower than that so bigger than that but less than 80.5 so applying the continuity correction so you need to make sure you're uh, applying the correct continuity correction so using the normal approximation and we know we can standardize uh, x to the standard normal curve by using z is equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation, the mean being 67.5, the standard deviation being the square root of 37.125. So it's going to be 65.5 minus 67.5, the mean, over the standard deviation, which is the square root of 37.125, less than z, less than 80.5 minus 67.5, divided by the square root of the uh, standard deviation which is 37.125. When we work those out on a calculator we get the probability that z is between minus 0 0.3282 and 2.1335. So just run that again. So I like to draw a graph because it sh uh, shows me very clearly what I'm doing. So z is normally distributed 0, uh, mean of 0 and variance of standard deviation of 1. So this, this value goes over here, and then this value goes over here. And then we need to shade the region. That's the region we need to find. So it's going to be phi. That means look up in the tables 2.13. We'll look up 2.13, and we'll take away this region here, which we get by doing 1 minus phi of 0 0.3282. This is using the symmetrical properties of the table that gives me that area there so we'll look those two values up in our table that's going to give me 0 0.9835 and i'm going to look at 1.33 here to minus one plus because minus times a minus 0 0.6293 so it gives me 0 0.6127 which gives me 0 0.61323 significant figures. Now, if we look at that, now modern software will actually calculate that value for us. So if we go to the probability calculator in GeoGebra, Geo and you can get that by in the view menu of uh, the opening document in GeoGebra, set this to binomial. You have to pull this screen up, set this n to 150 and p being 0 0.45. Now, we want bigger than 66 because we're not going to include 65. That's what these all actually include equal to up until and equal to 80. We'll see we'll get an answer of 0 0.611. So we can see we have a very fairly good approximation. Our answer is fairly uh, close to this.
So modern software will actually calculate uh, this for us, which really negates the need for the using the approximation anyhow. Uh, you can get the normal curve to go around it by pressing this uh, button here. So using GeoGebra, we get that, and then we get the probability of uh, x is 65, bigger than 65, but less than or equal to 80. This is why we use 66 is 0 0.611 so it's a fairly good approximation we do get agreement to two significant figures okay this has been a video to show you how to use the normal approximation to the binomial with large n and p close to 0 0.5 i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching